Hello everyone, I'm Cheng Xu from Peking University. Today I will share with you our recent work, Characterizing Impacts of Heterogeneity in Federated Learning Upon Large-Scale Smartphone Data. In the past few years, more attention is being paid to user data privacy and security. For example, according to the recent release Cybersecurity Law of the People's Republic of China, GDPR and CCPA, personal data cannot be arbitrarily collected and used without permission granted. This poses great challenges for machine learning applications because they usually require to collect personal data to train ML models. Therefore, various privacy-preserving ML techniques have been proposed, among which the emerging federated learning, namely FL, has drawn tremendous attention. As the picture shows, the key idea of FL is to employ a set of personal mobile devices, such as smartphones, and train an ML model collaboratively under the orchestration of a central parameter server. Heterogeneity is one of the core challenges in FL which can be attributed to two major aspects. The first one is hardware heterogeneity. It is from various hardware specifications of devices. For example, different CPU, RAM, and battery life. It is not surprising that a low-end device fails to upload its model updates, which might affect the time to obtain a converged global model. The second one is state heterogeneity. It is because that the state and the running environment of participating devices can be various and dynamic. To protect users' experience, a device participates FL only when it meets the required state criteria. For example, the CPU should be idled, the device should be charged and connected to a stable network like Wi-Fi. Intuitively, devices that seldom participate in an FL task can be underrepresented by the global model. However, despite the potential influence of heterogeneity, it is not fully considered by existing efforts. We've investigated the existing FL platforms and found that none of them consider the information heterogeneity. Specifically, they usually assume that they have homogeneous devices, which means that the devices have uniform hardware capacity and they are always available for training. So, a natural question is what are impacts of heterogeneity? To answer this question, we carry out the first empirical study. To incorporate heterogeneity, we need two things. The first one is the data that describes the information heterogeneity, and the second one is a heterogeneity-aware platform. For the data, we collected large-scale real-world data from 136,000 users through an input method application. The data are composed of two parts, that is, the state traces for describing state heterogeneity and the capacity data for describing hardware heterogeneity. In total, the data contain 180 million entries, account for 111 gigabyte storage, and cover 296 types of devices. State traces determine devices checking in and dropping out. Here is an example about how it works. Suppose device A meets the required states at time step 2. After a period of time, it is selected by the server and begins to participate. However, at time step 3, its network condition is changed to 4G while it is still participating. As a result, device A drops out and fails to upload its model updates in this round. Similarly, device B finishes its job before its states get changed so it succeeds in uploading. Capacity data determine devices' computational and communication capacity. For the former one, we perform on device training using the given model and collect the training time to reflect the computational capacity. For the latter one, we periodically testing the downstream and upstream bandwidth with to a central server. Next, we introduce our heterogeneity-aware platform which we call Flash. We design Flash mainly according to Google's report on its large-scale industrial FL system. Each round is divided into three phases, edit selection, configuration, and reporting. The biggest difference from other FL platforms is that Flash is able to simulate the heterogeneity of devices. More specifically, devices spend various time on training and communication. 
and they will check in and drop out at different time. After introducing the data and the platform, we next introduce how we carry out our measurement study. To characterize the impacts of heterogeneity, we run two sets of experiments for comparison. Both sets are identically configured, like the data, ML models, hyperparameters, and the data participation strategy. <clears throat> the only exception is that one is running under the heterogeneity aware settings, and the other one is running under heterogeneity unaware settings. For heterogeneity aware settings, devices are assigned various state traces and hardware capacities using the aforementioned data. <clears throat> For the heterogeneity unaware settings, devices are assigned an ideal state trace. This will make them always available for training and will never drop out. What's more, they are also said to have the same hardware uh, capacity. We run both settings in our FL platform separately and compare the output metrics to analyze the impacts of heterogeneity. We select three categories of algorithms in our study. The first is a basic FL algorithm, FedAVG. It has been deployed to real systems and widely used in FL literature. The second is the compression algorithms that are used to reduce communication cost. The last category is the aggregation algorithms that determine how to aggregate the device's local updates. We select two algorithms, that is QFedAVG and FedProx. QFedAVG is for improving fairness and FedProx is for accelerating training process. We run FedAVG on four data sites and compare their accuracy under heterogeneity aware and unaware settings. Like the previous work, we also vary the local training epochs, which is illustrated in different colors of curves. We can observe that the heterogeneity brings a significant accuracy drop on all the data sets. On the MTAP data set, which is a real-world input text data set collected from our input method application, the accuracy drop is up to 9.2%, indicating that heterogeneity introduces non-trivial accuracy drop to FL algorithms. We also explore the impacts of heterogeneity on some newly proposed aggregation algorithms. Here we take QFED AVG as an example to show how heterogeneity compromises the algorithm's performance. QFED AVG is designed for addressing fairness issues. It could achieve comparable accuracy to that of FedAVG while reducing the variance of the accuracy, namely getting a more fair global model. As is shown in the table, the variance of the accuracy drops uh, when we apply the QFedAVG algorithm, indicating its effectiveness. However, uh, when, the, uh, when the heterogeneity is introduced, the variance reduction decreases on all the data sets, indicating that heterogeneity hinders QFedAVG from addressing fairness issues. After exploring the non-trivial impacts of heterogeneity, we would also like to investigate the reasons for these negative impacts. We first investigate which type of heterogeneity is more influential. To analyze their individual impacts, we disable the hardware heterogeneity, that is, all the devices have the same computational and communication capacity. Similarly, in another experiment, we disable the state heterogeneity, that is, devices are always available at any time and will never drop out. The results are shown as follows. We find that uh, compared to the accuracy drop caused by hardware heterogeneity, state heterogeneity leads to a more significant accuracy drop. So, state heterogeneity is more responsible for the performance drop. Another question we want to answer is what causes the performance drop of FL algorithms? Here, we report two phenomena that are particularly obvious under heterogeneity aware settings according to our experiments. First, we find that participating devices can fail to upload their local model updates for several reasons, including unreliable network, uh, excessive training time, and dropout cost by user interruption. 
which are noted as network failure, uh, training failure, and uh, interruption failure, respectively. According to our experiments, the overall proportion of failed devices reaches 11.6% uh, on average, even an optimal data setting is given. We think uh, these failures could cause a waste of valuable device failure, uh, resources uh, like computations and energy. Uh, this will slow down the global model convergence. So the first factor that could cause the performance drop is device failure. The second abnormal phenomenon we find is that participating devices attend the training process in a biased manner. We show the accumulating percentage of participating devices over time in the figure below. Under heterogeneity unaware settings, all the devices have the same probability to be selected because they are always available. The devices accumulate quickly and soon cover the total population. However, under heterogeneity aware settings, accumulation speed gets much slower. This is because devices frequently used by users are less likely to check in, so they are also less likely to be selected by the server. As a result, when the global model converges, up to 30% of devices have not participated in the FL process. This phenomenon also explains why heterogeneity hinders q 5 AVG algorithm from getting a more fair result. <clears throat> because heterogeneity makes uh, head devices attend the FL in a biased manner. So the second factor that could cause the performance drop is what we call participation bias. Finally, we provide some actionable implications for different stakeholders. First, consider heterogeneity. This is straightforward considering its non-trivial negative impact. Second, reduce device failures. One may explore a proactive alerting technique by predicting the device's future states and network condition based on the historical data. The server may give a low priority to the devices that are likely to drop out. In this way, the overall device failures can be reduced and more updates can be aggregated. Third, apply guided participant selection. Our results have shown that randomly selecting devices could still result in a best device participation. Instead, a guided and cherry-picking selection strategy can resolve this problem. In fact, recent work in OSDI 21 has presented a guided participant selection approach, which significantly improves the FL uh, performance. Last but not least, optimize on-device training. We observe that excessive training time accounts for the major of uh, device failures when the deadline is tight. So optimizing on-device training is rather promising to accelerate FL. In summary, in this work, we collect a large-scale real-world dataset that describes heterogeneity in FL. We present the first heterogeneity-aware FL platform, namely Flash, and we characterize the significant impacts of heterogeneity on FL through a series of extensive experiments. That's all. Thanks for your listening.